What's going on guys? My name's Mitch Rubs and today we're going to be doing Plankerton Storm Shield Defense uh, 5 I think it is at this point. Um, this one we're not actually going to have to model modify all too much from our uh, SSD 4 build. So I highly recommend going through that and learning what we did for 1 through 4 before you actually um, go ahead and build this. But the real thing that is going to be weird is it's going to be 3 waves. It's going to be 1 from this uh home base north there's gonna be one for our south amp and then i have this one pretty much every single time uh and it's a lava wave so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a couple anti-air traps right i don't want to build some massive lobber shield for you guys just yet because frankly like i think that's just gonna be too complex for you guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple anti-air traps and i highly recommend getting this trap um if you can but it's going to be an anti-air trap right here, and we're going to place one right here, one right here. We're going to place one right here, and we're also going to place one right here. And we're going to upgrade that to tier three. There should be, I think, about six, or there should be three um, lobbers that can spawn here, and these should nullify them. And that's what we want. Um, we're not going to be able to kill every single one of them, and sometimes they'll throw, but this is how we're going to mitigate that. We're also going to add a couple to each side, right? So we'll add one here, one here. So if they throw from right there towards the amplifier, these got them. And we're also going to come over here and add two. Um, and this is just insurance so that uh, stuff doesn't get chaotic. So we're going to place one here and one here. All right. The only other issue that we have is we never had a lot of space for this West amplifier, my B amp. Um, I also call this cave amp, but I mean, I'm not going to make you guys learn the names. We're going to come over here, and we're going to notice that the storm bubble was taking up too much space over here last time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a wall right here, a cone right here, and we're going to add a wall, a cone, cone facing the southeast, and then a wall here. So we're just going to add a little bit of layering so that the husks don't want to break through over off here to the left. And that should be fine, and we should be able to get through Blankerton SSD 5 uh, like that. Remember, when you guys are running this, I would go right to the amplifier and sit on the amplifier that's getting hit, or else you could pull husks that are called assassin husks towards you, and they want to actually go towards you versus the objective. So if you see something going to your block off and it's like really weird why they would go there, that's probably why, is because you're probably pulling them over there. Um, but let's get on to the gameplay, this really isn't too much more to this. So, alright, let's get on to the gameplay.